What's going on guys? Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. In today's video, we are gonna talk about three different options you have in order to get a fully functional map in-game. To start out, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, one of these three options is not cheating, but the two others, yeah, I guess those can be considered as small but helpful cheats. But I'm gonna let you be the one to decide. Let's start out with the first option, which is also the totally legit way of getting a map in Subnautica Below Zero. In-game, there are two different places where you're able to scan parts of a map, which you will afterwards have access to on your PDA. The first map is found on Delta Island, which you encounter pretty early on in the game. When you hike up the island, you will at some point encounter a small base. If you enter the first compound on your left, you'll be able to spot this map on the right wall just after the entrance. Scan it, and now you will have access to the Altera Facilities map on your PDA for your entire playthrough. If you look in your PDA, you'll find it underneath the Logs and Communication, and then Maps. The next map is found in the Phi Robotics Center, located on the mainland in the Glacial Basin area. If you look at your newly found Altera map, it's located right here. If you dock where the radar is standing, head straight between the cliffs, and then take a ride. Go through the small cave, and then you will be able to spot the entrance to the Phi Robotics Facility. When you enter the Fire Robotics facility, hug the left side until you see a door with the Fire Robotics logo next to the door frame. Enter here and, next to the small robot pinkling on the table, scan the map of the glacial basin. And that's it, a totally legit way of getting a map in Subnautica Below Zero. Now, I told you in the beginning that we do have two other ways of getting an in-game map in Subnautica Below Zero. Maybe you already know, but in Subnautica Below Zero, you are actually able to put up a picture frame in your base where you can choose between screenshots taken in-game. That in itself is actually pretty cool, but what you can also do is find the folder on your computer holding these screenshots from the game, and then just put any picture you want in that folder, and you will be able to display that in a picture frame in-game. This means that you will be able to download the map of Subnautic Below Zero as an image using, for example, Google to find this and then put that in the picture frame in-game. That way, you will always have a way of figuring out where to go explore next. If you want to try this out, let me walk you through how to set this up. First, you want to build a picture frame and then put it up anywhere in your base. Then you want to take a screenshot by pushing F11 then add the picture you just took into this picture frame. The reason for doing this is that Subnautica does not create the folder for the picture images before you've actually used it in the game. Now save the game and then quit. Now it's time for you to navigate to your Subnautica installation folder. If you have it installed through Steam, you can right click on the game in your Steam library, choose manage and then choose browse local files. Find the folder called SN App Data and after that go into Saved Games. Here you will see different saved games that you have. If you have more saved games than one, there will be several saved game folders of course. Go into the folder that represents the saved game that you want and look for the folder called Screenshots. Inside this screenshot folder you'll be able to put any image that you like and after that you'll be able to find that image in the picture frame library in the game. The last way that I know of in order to get a map in game is to use a mod called Subnautica Map. I'm gonna leave a link to Nexus mod where you can find it in the description below. But I'm not gonna show you how to install it though, but call me out in the comments if you want me to make a video about it. However, I am of course gonna show you how it works. So when you have installed this mod and you are in game, you can now press M on your keyboard and now you have access to a real time in game map where you can see everything you've already discovered and places where you have not been yet are covered by fog. And as you move out into new terrain, the map will be updated. This is of course the most convenient map to use because yeah, it's real time. However, for your first playthrough, maybe stick with one of the other solutions, okay? That was it for today, guys. I'm trying to put out a lot of good Subnautica content for you. So if you like what I'm doing, like the video and consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with the new content I'm putting out. Write to me in the comments if you have some questions. And as always, see you in the next video.